Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by. So today I'm gonna to be doing another book review and this is entitled Escaping Destiny. If you are new to my book review videos, what I typically do is give you information from goodreads.com and then we go from there. So this is the third book from the Fae Chronicles series written by Amelia Hutchins. Um, this is rated 4.4 out of five stars on goodreads.com. I thought things couldn't get worse, I was wrong. I found out that I really wanted and was forced to give him up just as I found out who I really am, I was presented to the elusive Horde King as a gift. This was the mystical being I was hidden from for more than 20 years. Although Ryder promised to save me, I couldn't let him get near this creature, so I willingly, sort of, signed myself over to be his new plaything. Now in the Horde realm, nothing is going remotely like I thought I it would. My powers and emotions are on the fritz and each day seems to bring surprises that I am not sure how to deal with. The Horde King thinks he has me exactly where he wants me. He thinks he has taken all of my options away. I still have choices. Embracing what Destiny has planned for me or escaping it. So this was published in February 15, 2014. Genres is going to be paranormal, fantasy, fae, paranormal romance, romance, magic, and vampires. Whew, that was a lot. But, you know, when you put that in those, in so many categories, it's because this book is like, it feels like it should be a lot longer than it is because the details are just very um, intricate and I feel like the book is really fast paced but I feel like the series is the same. Fast paced, action, action packed, a lot of surprises, a lot of twists and turns, a lot of very unexpected surprises and shocking moments and um, I think this is just the theme of the series. Like, every, like the other two books were the same. This is the same. It's just if you enjoyed the first two books, it's also going to be this way. The pace, the action, the the type of writing, it's all going to be like that. The difference would be certain details would be a little different. Maybe it's not going to go the way that you want it to go. Maybe it's not, or maybe it will go the way you want to go because I did just glance through a lot of reviews and it does get a lot of mixed reviews. And you have to think though, a lot of times people have expectations, especially in a series, <clears throat> on where the journey of the characters that they fall in love with should go or want them to go. And a lot of times that's not how a story is supposed to go. So I do appreciate, I do appreciate that type of writing where I wanna be surprised. Like, yeah, I still want it to go a certain way. And if it doesn't go a certain way, you know, it'll be a heartbreak for me. But will I enjoy it and the journey going there? That's the tricky part. Um, it's very hush hush on this um, in the information on Goodreads. So I will tiptoe around it. Um, again, Cynthia's life is, again, you know thrown in somewhere and she's she's gonna think on her toes as usual Cynthia is such a badass I love her and Ryder is just this hottie so <laughs> um that's just really great so um their chemistry is really great their journey in being drawn to each other that's still really you know that's still really put in play in this book um the Horde King situation, I don't want to talk about that more because I want you guys to discover and ride that journey. It's really good. Um, I enjoyed the journey. It was one of those like, I feel like a bucket of sweat is coming out of me. And I feel like I'm, you know, I'm getting frustrated and a little bit of upset. Um, a little sad, a little nervous. And then, da, da, da. I'm not gonna... Amelia is just such a beautiful writer. She's very, very creative and all, there's no fluff in this story, no fluff in her books. It is all very intricately detailed and it is, it can be very overwhelming because of that, but also incredibly beautiful. So I did enjoy this book a lot. Um, 
I would give this a two thumbs up. I do recommend this book. If you enjoyed the first two, give this a try. You're definitely going to like this too. I would give this a eight out of a 10 star rating, 10 being the highest. Um, I just feel kind of like if I say anything else, it just might be a spoiler and I really don't want to do that. Some, excuse me, some people can't help it and I feel like I just don't want to be that person that can't help it and just want to share, share, share. I want you guys, if you've never re read this book, to enjoy it the way I did. I didn't, I didn't read any spoilers. I didn't, um, I didn't research much about it. I didn't even read the info from goodreads.com. Um, I started the first book and, you know, I finished this book. I didn't read the information from the second and the third book. I don't even remember if I read the first one. So there you have that. Um, so again, if you guys have any suggestions, uh, similar context contents that we're writing, let me know down below and I would definitely like to check those books out. Um, it's kind of a problem, but anyway, I'll still do it. If you guys want to chit chat about the book, you agree or disagree of my rating or my review, let me know down below. I love discussing, um, I love discussing things with you guys, especially on what I just reviewed on. Um, so thank you guys so much and I'll see you again next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell so you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. Don't forget to expand the description box because as much as possible, I always try to get coupons for you guys, discount codes, and other goodies uh, like that. Um, I also have my Twitter information, Instagram, Snapchat, and for business inquiries, I have my email there as well. Thank you guys, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.